Welcome to Dan ARG YouTube. So far as they talk about SARS brutality for Edo State and the protest where our youth protest yesterday, where the Edo State Deputy Governor can join them for that protest. So make I leave you now, make you hear from Sefas. Enjoy the video. I want to take this special time to applaud the Edo State youth and the Deputy Governor of Edo State. You see, it's just exactly what I spoke about in my last video. We must learn how to organize ourselves to fight against whatever that is affecting us instead of dying in silence. The move happens to be an applaudable one. Like as for me, I said it the last time. There's no way you expect someone like me that is not being affected over a situation to be in the front line of any battle. Not that I will not support because I am not affected. I will support, like I'm right here now, to support, to encourage. Thank God the protest went successfully. If it was something else, probably harmless citizens were killed because they were protesting that the SARS brutality is too much on them. Then people like us will now begin to come up to begin to speak with the Constitution because it is not right to harm anybody that is harmless. Like as for me, you can see, I'm right at the farm. I just drove in not quite long. My kind of car, sometimes police or sacks ask me to park, I park for them. They, say, they will say, off the engine. I will tell them, if I off this engine, now push, I go push this motor start. They will say they don't care. They will help me. I will truly off, just to obey. Open your boots. I will open my boots. Most things they do see in my boots used to be this grass you see here. This one now is for tomorrow morning. I have given them for today. So once they are done checking, for me to really go, my motor no go start because now Gongoro, when I manage. But for the young men, who God has really blessed. You see, for me, I am not here to deliberate on how people make their money. It's not my jurisdiction. It's not my obligation. Whichever way you are making your money, me, I know, as a man that always wakes up in the morning, get myself prepared, go into the field to struggle. I know there is no way to make money that is easy. No way. So if God has so much blessed you through your struggle, you feel like buying 10 million naira car. You know you can afford it. You buy some of our young boys in the Edo State, your resource alone can take care of my 10 years responsibility or needs. I am not against it. So you people have been brutalized for a very long time. You ought to get quiet. But thank God, I believe someone among you raised, have to rise up. This is exactly what we are talking about. Handicaps. Sorry to call them handicaps, because many of them, if you check out their capacity, you will feel sorry to call them handicaps, because they can do more than people you feel that are not physically challenged. They used to protest over what they know is affecting them. In many situations, so many guys, so many young boys have called me from Edo State. Say, Sax, use my... Yeah, priceless, I'm coming, please. Sax, use my ATM, withdraw the money from my account. And he said, what did you do? If you have made your money through the right process, I strongly believe there's no way anyone can use your ATM to withdraw your money. If you have not been seen with anything that happened to be as a bit, I'm not very convinced anyone can dare it. But whether good or bad, we know surely that the such brutality in Nigeria as a whole is something that is so very unconducive for humans. Thank God, Edo people, you rose up. The deputy governor did not, but two men of Edo states came, acknowledged you guys. Right before you people, he said, get five representatives to come to my office while we call the inspector. Not for the inspector to arrest the five representatives. No, for you people to sit down and deliberate. This is what we don't want. This is what we don't like. It's, because it's as simple as that. So this is a clear message 
to other people in the states. If you have any areas you are having challenges, you have your right to group, look for certain, some people as well that are also affected with the same situation. Bring yourselves together. Go out on the streets. I believe probably the deputy governor wanted to pass and there was no way. He got there, the people he want to approach, they were harmless. So there's nothing less to do than to apply diplomacy. He went on the podium, just as the other young man who was the spokesman of the people, he allowed him to talk. That is to tell you the power of the people. He didn't get there to tell the young man, shut up. Let me talk. I'm the deputy governor. No. We have our privilege. We have our rights. But we have been selling them all for nothing. Many of us doesn't, we don't even want to wake up or to stand up for our rights. We are sitting back, expecting those who are not affected by situations that is affecting us to be in the front line of the battle, which is not done anywhere. If anything is affecting me right now, and I know the government is supposed to provide these basic amenities for me, I will look for certain individuals who have the same challenge like I am. We'll group together in our little or large numbers. We will go out there and be a voice. We'll voice out our, our opinions. We'll voice out whatever that is our challenge. The deputy governor could not pass. He came to the podium. You all saw him. He, he humbly allowed the young man to finish expressing himself. And after then, he said, I have heard you. Please, you will clear the way. You will get five people. Come down to my office. I will call the inspector of the police. So that they can reach a consensus. They can reach a consensus. It's as simple as that. It is a clear cut. It is a clear example to every other people passing through one situation in those state or the other. You don't need to have people out there before you can have your own voice. You don't need to have anyone there before you can speak. No. For as much you are breathing, for as much you are alive, for as much you are a citizen of any place, you have right to stand up any time, any day, to speak whatever that is challenging your life. We can see, I, I really want to applaud those, our youths. No car was burnt. There was no destruction. It was going up peacefully. Only that people could not go, people could not come. That is it. That is it. Nothing else. Nothing else. It doesn't require much. It doesn't. I know those young men, they have where they do go in the everyday to go and make, to go and do their business. But they decided to call on themselves. How can we be always be embarrassed in this state because we are driving flashing cars? They call themselves. I believe now maybe they now have a flashing cars association <laughs> in those states. They call on themselves that enough is enough. You can't always see us because we are driving flashing cars. Your eyes will be red. Now they have a good answer. And it is a clear court now that so many young boys driving flashing cars in those states are not criminals. They are not Yahoo Yahoo boys. Those guys out there, they know that any day, any time, they can defend whichever way they are making their money. So that is why they spoke. They have to come out to speak for themselves. They have to come out to speak for themselves. So not everyone with flashing cars are actually there doing any dubious business or that is defrauding people. So, my Edo people, I want to really applaud us. It is a new dawn. We have to hold it strong. We shouldn't let it go. We should hold up onto the grip. No one should be limited anymore because you feel no one to speak for you. You can speak for yourself. In the best language, you can express yourself. It's as simple as that. Sasa has never embarrassed me for once. Not because I, I am too big. But because you see, you see how tired I am. This is how I, I, I am always every day, every day, every day. No chain, no gold, no wristwatch, apart from just my, my wedding ring. See, this is the only thing you can find on me. And this one is not even gold. See, it's not gold. Hmm? It's not gold. It's just a symbol to show that I'm married. I didn't get the golden one. They don't embarrass me. Before I, I came down to my farm, I passed out to about uh, three uh, police checking points. Open your boot, I open my, I see grass. Ah, what did they do with grass? I didn't feed my goat, I'll be farmer. Okay, there you go. It's just as simple as that. It's as simple as that. 
So for anyone who is driving flashing cars who have a resource of about one million, to be expecting if has no about to come out to begin to lead protest, you see, you people would have gotten this new day you are experiencing today. But you all rose in your own idea. We are the one that is being affected. Let us go. Most times, they don't even ask me the particulars of my motor. Because if you look at that kind of vehicle, you should know that this one, he don't tear. He don't go from Peter, enter John. John don't use, he give Joseph. Joseph use. Then uh, uh, another person come by him before Sifas no back come by. Now even push and start. My motor, they carry me reach one place. He go stop. He go say no go again. I have to find people, knock everything for engine, knock in head before it go feel move. So if you can't expect say now me, go come come out, come they protest, say police they harass uh, says they harass us because we they drive flashing car. Me no get flashing car. But I thank God for those who God have really blessed who are flashing cars that have risen, that have spoken up for themselves today. So God bless we all. Let us keep this moving. We shouldn't give up on ourselves. We have right to live as humans. We have right to enjoy ourselves. We shouldn't be afraid of anyone because they are armed or whatever. They are there because of us. They cannot explain it any way better without us. They can't be there without us. So thank you all for this great wisdom. Every other people should learn. No need. You want to protest, you start destroying things. You see how these guys were organized. Now, these five people now, they are gently going to go into the deputy's governor's office and they begin to talk and reach a consensus on now things should be done in a way that everyone will be happy. Not that they are going to be arrested, but in assumption, in assumption that cars were burnt, houses were burnt, someone, uh, someone was killed. There is no way, there is no way the deputy governor would have asked, okay, come to the office, let us talk it out. So it was a mature pro uh, protest. It was a very welcoming one. So may the Lord Almighty continue to bless us all in Jesus' name. So others that have been affected with one issue or the other in the state, please learn from this. You don't need any other for that tutorial. Just learn from what you are seeing and apply it. It will work for you. There is no way to not work. It will work for you. So God bless you all. Let me go and relax. Now we don't hear from Cephas. I beg. Help us share this video to friends and family. And if you get anything to add, join with say fast, don't talk for this video. Go to comment section, make you put on for there. If you never subscribe to Dan ARG YouTube, I bet try make you subscribe. Thank you for watching Dan ARG YouTube.